We're here with Todd Saldana, the LAFC Academy Director, and as we continue to look into all levels of the black and gold. And the Academy, and, and forgive me here, Todd, because I'm gonna start with some generalities. I think some of our audience wants to know exactly what is the role of the Academy and how does it work in this framework with LAFC? Yeah, I mean, number one goal will always be to develop players for the first team. We started with a U12 team, so we couldn't say that was what we were going to do at that stage. But now that we have under 12 to under 19, um, the goal will be to put players in the first team and the second team and for them to be prepared to play. You've been here from the beginning, uh, the under 12s. When you think of how it started, what, uh, what really gets you excited about where it's come? Well, probably the number one thing is seeing some players from those first two years sign professional contracts, you know, the Tony Leones and Eric Duenas and Christian Torres and, and, and Eric being a part of the very first team. Uh, and then now we've, we've got Brian Mayato, who was also part of the very first team we, we had at U12. So just seeing those players develop and seeing them grow into guys that can actually contribute at the first team level. I want to talk a little bit about those players and the sacrifices they make because they, they, they are immense uh, to fulfill the dream of being a professional footballer. But you guys have gone through a lot. A lot of the guys would go play with the Las Vegas Lights. They'd get on a bus and go there. What's the difference now that they are embedded here at this glorious performance center with an extra field with in front of the first team? No, that, that was one of the dreams to be able to have everything we do connected to the club, the academy. Obviously, we have different schedules. Um, we were training off site. So to get that connection between the club, first, second team, weight training, nutrition, video, now we have access directly across the street from our training to bring the players here. So it's a game changer. Uh, it also just makes it in sight for our players. They look across the field at night and the LAFC glows from the building. <laughs> That's incredible. I, I know you, you mentioned the how like the powers that be with LAFC are a few steps away to see these guys play. That's got to be a huge difference maker. But uh, how, what is the oversight with all of that like and how those those exchanges with John Thornton, Steve, etc.? Yeah, no, it's 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 changed. Like I said, game changer. They, they can walk across the street. We already I mean, the way we we're set up from the beginning. And I think, you know, John Thornton's vision of having us all in one room together, first team, second team academy where we're interacting all the time that's happened from the very beginning but now like i said it's nice for our players to have access to everything here but for our management our coaches first team coaches coming over and and actually seeing them uh they just get to know them better and that that way i think they gain more trust in them to to sign them and have them playing at some point what is the process of scouting and going out and finding players so that you can make those connections and get them here i worked for u.s soccer before i got here and i was involved in the scouting was a big part of my job. And so, you know, we know you're, you're really only as good as the talent you're working with and talent makes us look like great coaches. Um, but we, we've got five scouts, network scouts that go out and watch games every weekend. Uh, myself and coaching staff also go out and watch matches and watch kids play, talk to contacts and resources, you know, far and wide to see every player we can. Wherever there might be talent, we will go. What about that talent? And by the way, we, we, you know Los Angeles talent. This guy is Mr. LA when his football connections to UCLA, Cal Poly, Loyola Marymount, LA Aztecs playing with George Best. You've told me some of those stories. So you've seen LA. Uh, where is it now when we, we talk about it? Because the perception people go, there, there's gold in those hills, right? And this is uh, certainly something that you've been able to see. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's close to my heart also because I identify with a lot of the kids we see out there. To emphasize how much talent there's here, there are scouts from many, many MLS clubs now, from whether it be Philadelphia Union or RSL, Colorado, they're in here regularly looking at the players that we see every week here. So there's, there's competition, um, but I think we, within our staff and our scouts and myself, we know what the best, and we know what fits here. They're in great hands. Uh, and then the, the passage of these guys, and we have to understand what they are doing, the sacrifices, not just them, their family, to be here. Uh, what are we looking at when we talk about that, about kids going to school and balancing all of that? Yeah, no, it's a, uh, I told the parents, yeah, I mean, and they already know this because they're, they've brought their young child up from the grassroots soccer that it's a lifestyle. You know, if you want your son to be able to 
perform at the level we need them. He needs to be here at least four nights a week. He's got one or two matches a weekend. He's got travel. Some of our GA Cup and other events are like 10 days long. Uh, weekend travel can be Thursday through Sunday. So you, you, you have to be organized. So if you miss school, you're on top of your assignments. And we even have kids now that have kind of voluntarily gone online just to make themselves more available to train and to get rest. But it is a complete lifestyle for the parents. They're bringing them here every night. One of the bonuses is that going away from pay for play soccer here, it's funded by our ownership. And so at least the costs other than the gas to get them back and forth uh, uh, will go away. If you want to be a professional soccer player, it's going to be a lot of hard work. That's for the parents. But uh, if you can get to LHC, it's certainly in good hands. We, we look forward to that breakthrough where these guys that you started with are playing on that LAFC first team. Yeah. We'll be here with the Academy LAFC too. We're going to have the entire club covered uh, from the beginning to the end of the season. Hey, that's the